You must be joking. Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of her? For the last time, abscess to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nap. Now, if you'll excuse me. How splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning, I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. Hey, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Own it. Well, whatever you call it, do it elsewhere, and take your merry band with you. Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness! What's wrong? It erodes the very pillars of our society. Merit, decorum, personal hygiene. This city is meant for us, the system's finest. We earned its luxuries. But now we are overrun with the unworthy and the ungrateful, and this early retirement nonsense is making it even worse. Yes, thank you. Goodness, what's the system coming to when unkempt vagabonds are making more sense than the board itself? By simply winning a lottery, those early retirees get an exclusive district of Byzantium to themselves. No one else is even allowed to go there. Tell me, how is that fair? Oh, by the law. I mean the principle of it, not the mechanics. It's not right. I deserve to see any district I please. Why, if it weren't guarded, I'd... Hmm. You know, you look like you've been shot at before. What say I hire you to investigate this travesty, and you get paid to do so? She's got a point. We're probably gonna get shot at anyway. Might as well make a few bits. Yes. Listen to your... Your... What is that person's job, exactly? Are they your secretary? Personal masseuse? Or do you just keep them around as a mobile armrest? Well, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you think this is a fabulous arrangement, and you'd be thrilled to lend me your services. Aren't you? Fantastic! Consider yourself employed, Vagrant. I hear the chosen retirees all enter the retirement district via the port landing pad, but it's completely locked down. You'd never get in that way. Unless, of course, you had a wealthy, beautiful benefactor of impeccable social pedigree, which you do. How fortunate for you. These codes will get you past the lockdown. Oh, and don't worry about subtlety. I don't care how you deal with security, just correct this injustice at all costs. The same way anyone gets anything here, of course. I made friends with the right people. Bits might earn you a place in Byzantium, but that means everyone here has little need for more of them. For favors like this, you need to spend... Let's call it social capital. Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? Dr. Fenhill, have you ever contemplated the fact that we have no direct experience of our own heads? As usual, I have no idea what you're talking about. So many yearn for the opportunities you disdain. 
There were those who would give their hand to be born at Byzantium as you were. Now, why couldn't you just have said that in the first place? Looking for weapons? You've come to the right place. Every Byzantine needs high quality armaments and you won't find better anywhere else. Why, to defend their property, of course. 50-bit says he's got a hard on right now. Byzantium is the best of what Halcyon has to offer. It's up to us to protect it. Marauders, dissidents, especially large sprats, one never knows what threat might arise. One can never be too well armed. Who knows when the hordes may hurl themselves at our gates? Just you. Felt like a damn factory worker these last few months. Oh well. Nothing a few drinks won't cure. Come on, let's go hit up Bijou's. Can't. They're closed. Someone saw a sprat in there. Bijou's too? Damn. What's this city coming to? Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center.
You, the lucky few, have been selected to spend the rest of your days living the high life in your own private district in Byzantium. When you arrive, you'll be whisked away to your very own luxury penthouse, furnished exclusively by 24-7 Furniture's Deluxe Falskowood Collection. Some assembly required, 24-7 furniture is not responsible for any injury, psychological damage, or divorce litigations that occur during the assembly process. After you get settled in, you'll have the chance to explore your new home. Why not go for a bite at one of our many restaurants, like CMP's Blazing Boar's Barbecue or Rizzo's All You Can Crunch Cereal Buffet? Or maybe you'd like to head to the bar and enjoy an ice-cold Zero-G brew by Spacer's Choice. Zero-G brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Although in the early retirement district, nothing will. All this and more will be complimentary for the entirety of your stay, courtesy of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. You won't have to spend a bit. So relax, grab a refreshment from one of our vending machines, and enjoy our specially constructed welcome center. While you're here, be sure to check out the displays for some fun facts about the early retirement program and selection process. Once you're ready, enter the elevator at the end of the hall and leave your troubles behind. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Today is the first day of your early retirement. Congratulations. Welcome to the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center. You, the lucky few, have been selected to spend the rest of your days living the high life in your own private district in Byzantium. When you arrive, you'll be whisked away to your very own luxury penthouse, furnished exclusively by 24-7 Furniture's Deluxe False Lowen Collection.
I couldn't help but notice your shooter, Dr. Fennell. It's quite a sharp piece. Isn't it something? I keep meaning to name it, but I can't come up with one that sticks. That's funny. I thought you didn't care much for nice things. Hey, a pirate's nothing without a rep. And this baby has a rep of its own. That's one right there. I must admit, I'm getting a certain thrill out of our little arrangement. If this goes well, perhaps I'll start hiring wandering delinquents to handle all of my affairs. It is going well, I hope. I knew it. I just knew it. What a disaster. Did you get a good look around? What was it like? Truly? That's... Why, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. I can't believe they kept this from us. From me, the nerve, the audacity. Here, take your payment. I have to fetch my things. I don't care what I have to do. They'll give me luxury or give me death. Her words. Stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard. <laughs> right here. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. She's like in his posters. Oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> They don't give those out to just anyone. Yep, I've nearly made it to the top, my friend. I'm just two promotions away from on-the-job bathroom breaks. That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka.
Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Studies have shown that drinking in the vicinity of extremely valuable objects, such as this auto-mechanical bartender, can enhance the quality of your intoxication. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? Here's to me. <clears throat> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of them. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Guess I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. I just need to sit down. Didn't realize you were an ex-con, Vicar. Technically, I was a priest, not a prisoner. Oh, so you could leave whenever you wanted. No, I had to fulfill my duties first. Then you had a sentence. Not exactly. You just got a lot more interesting, Preacher. This reminds me of... Oh, never mind.
I'll keep it down. Top of the line equipment, better than most hospitals, even. That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? My what? Let's talk about this. Please, I think there's been a crucial misunderstanding. Give me a second to explain myself. If you still want to shoot me, at least it'll be for an accurate reason. If you came looking for some elaborate scheme, it isn't here. All I'm doing is trying to keep Halcyon alive. What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You could write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believe that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms, that I could change us give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. I know. I was there. Thomas was the first to take the gas. A simple test, he said. I told him not to, but he insisted. We learned a lot from his autopsy. Enough that we could try it on each other and know when to stop. No one else died. I must find a cure so his sacrifice isn't in vain. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. It's been missing for over two years now. They never reestablished contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. I can certainly understand why. Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. The board is uneasy about letting the colony know seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. I prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nucleon. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. You could always shoot me. I assume that's why you're here. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing and will be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. I try not to, at least when it comes to the moral dilemmas. Lilia Hagen's a useful ally to have, but I'll back you up either way. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. 
Consider that. It may not be pretty, but we risk the colony's downfall if we hinder the doctor's research. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? If working with Wells is the only way I can save the colony, then I will damn well do it. I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I had better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. Wrong answer. I got you. was merely an illusion anyway.
you get tired of patrolling, just go rough somebody up. How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Minister Clark, what a remarkable honor it is to meet you. So this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Oh, terribly sorry. I thought you were part of Rockwell's PR team. But if you're not, that means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Then what are you... Oh. Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. I don't know if our chemicals are here, but this guy is definitely not. Will that be all then? Stars, they're getting denser by the day. I shall endeavor to speak more slowly. Is this better? What's, was that a joke? Sarcasm, even? Oh, this is such a relief. You've no idea how long it's been since I spoke with someone intelligent enough for irony. This again? I really don't know about any chemicals. Process of elimination. The only other person with access? Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. He's attempting to game the system but he won't be able to get away with it forever. Eventually, Rockwell's house of cards will topple. I dearly hope so, and you might be part of the equation. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. Captain, we must investigate Rockwell. An injustice like this cannot go unchecked. Indeed, it cannot. I can't overstate the urgency of the matter. We really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business and it rarely pays. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. We're discussing industrial espionage, legal redress, the possible salvation of Halcyon. Is this not exhilarating? 
Also, this is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. Obviously, the chairman surrounds himself with the cream of Byzantium's elite. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. Putting your faith in the inherent goodness of mankind? The Earth Directorate is our best hope. Even Rockwell's resources are no match. And it is hardly in their interest to let Halcyon crash. Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck and trust no one in the Acropolis District. watching for suspicious activity. I... Now you've got me all confused. Look, I don't have any visitors on file today. UDL related or otherwise. I won't report this, but you need to leave. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Let 
Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Is it done? I see. If you need directions to Byzantium, it's the big fancy one. Can't miss it. Not as much as I'd like. The board dispatched it to Earth on a resupply mission, I think. Why? Huh. If you haven't seen an assault cruiser before, I'll tell you this much. They don't just go missing. That's like losing a moon. I'll have someone look into it. But for the moment, we're pissing in the wind and shooting in the dark. Considering how you get around, you'll probably find answers before I do. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors, where I can let my hair down. Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least, that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know. Legal formalities. You're getting good at that. Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Grids in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon, but I'll settle for being the most organized one. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. Ask. I have nothing to hide. Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species, or are we finished here? Oh, sure. I'll get right on it. Everyone hear that? Yeah, this gal's getting a letter of referral. Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. What a surprise. Seems we're no longer wanted here.
Ooh, you're here. It'll do a lot for my credit in the promenade if people see you buying something. So, what'll it be? Have you tried our dehydrated water tablets? Just add air. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Make a choice. Spacer's choice. Uh, have a look. Good to see you again. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Now in orbit above Byzantium. 